Hi, Eric Castle here. I'm here to show you a new feature that we're working on here at Roblox. It's an upcoming feature in development, so this is a really early prototype that I want to demonstrate to you, and it's pretty fun. So, let's start by going into a little place. Here I am. And this place has another feature in it, which isn't ready yet, but is also going to be showing up, which is water. You can see I have a lake here in my terrain. And I'm going to walk over to the edge of this lake. And here's a little lever. I'm going to pull the lever. And let's watch what's happening in the upper part of the screen here. You can see there are some bricks and some casks and so forth on a platform. I click the lever. The casks and the bricks fall down. And they float. So this is buoyancy. What we're doing here is taking our physics engine and making it interact with this lake so that parts in the lake actually float. That is, if they're light enough, they'll float. If they're made of brick or concrete, they'll fall to the bottom. But these objects right here, a cask, a piece of wood, and an ice and so forth, float. They're fully interactive. I can move around and push them around. Obviously, I'm not swimming very well. I'm kind of have my head underwater, so we'll have to fix that. But here I am moving around, and I can push these objects, and they behave the way I would expect them to. OK, let's dry off a bit and move to another part of the world. Over here is another part of the lake. And if you look in the distance, you'll see there's a boat floating in the lake. It's moving around a little bit. If it comes close to shore, maybe we can jump on it. Now look at that. OK, let's see if I can jump. There we go. All right, I'm on the boat. The boat is floating around in the lake. Now, some users have been doing great things with ships and making them seem to float in Roblox. But this is the first time you'll be able to just drop something into water and have it do it without special scripting and other clever hacks. If we look in the distance, you can see what look like little sea monsters. Let me go walk over to them. These are some little sea monsters I put together. They're just these little floating spheres connected together, and I'm making them move around and in the water. Let's see if I can maybe hit one of them with um, this little gun here. Well, I'm kind of missing, but you can see that when I shot these balls into the water, they're also floating. If I use a slingshot, they will also float. There they are. Anything you put in water is either going to float or sink, but it's not going to just pass through the water. It's going to actually interact with it. Speaking of interaction, here is a beautiful um, bridge that I put together. Or it's, a, uh, it's basically a rope suspension bridge, and it's floating over the water, or I should say hanging over the water. However, if I take my trusty rocket launcher and shoot at this bridge, you'll see the bridge explodes, breaks open, breaks apart, and portions of the bridge are also floating in water. So here's the bridge, but I can also now use it to try to walk at least partially across, partway across the, the lake. Oops, now I'm falling in again. Okay, let's see if I can swim to shore. And now I'm back. Okay, well, this was a demonstration of, of buoyancy, the, the notion that when you have something in water, it floats or sinks, um, but it actually does something physically or realistic. I'm really excited to see what kind of things our users are going to come up with. Um, there's lots of really interesting gameplay that you could imagine putting together by combining uh, new features like water and existing features like physics. And um, I can't wait for it to be released. We have a lot of work to do, but it'll be great. Thank you.